Alright class, today I'm going to show you how to create your own wiki page for Chapter 5 Unit on Energy. This wiki page is going to serve as a portfolio tool for you to post assignments, um, upload links, videos, and images related to our current topic. When you go to the Connect tab up in Haiku, there is a wiki projects selection. When you click on the selection, um, you have one wiki project currently created for you. So you will automatically click on this one and you'll be at the Chapter 5 Energy Wiki. Now this should look very familiar to the pages that I have been creating on our class website. Um, so in essence, you are just creating your own wiki website, similar to what the class website looks like. So here is your first page. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is title your first page. So I'm using a fake sample student, so Diane Jackson. So let's say you'll probably want to title yours with your name in there. So how about Chapter 5 Wiki um, Diane Jackson could be the title. So depending on your, whatever your name is, put that up in the title. Okay, and then you're going to want to save. Okay, now if you would like to change the layout, right now we have one big block going here and we have one small block here. If you prefer to have a different layout, you can go to Manage Page, Page Layout, and it will give you some options. So you can have one giant column, two even columns, wide right, traditional two, three columns. Um, I typically use the traditional too, um, but you are welcome to change it depending on your personal preferences. Okay. Um, going over here, there is an add content block to add your different blocks, um, and I'll show you what you can put in those blocks. But this button right here is a lot easier. So over here, we have an add content block. When you click on this block, there are different options that you can use to add to your page. So you can add on-page text. So let's go ahead and do this one as a sample. So if I click on on-page text, um, for every single block that you create, you are going to need to give it a title. Now, if you would like to hide the title, you can click hide title, but every single block needs a title to be created. So let's say um, this will be our chapter um, chapter 5.1 summary notes okay so these could be the summary that you need to write at the end of your guided notes um, that we do in class so here you could literally just type out whatever your notes are um, I learned that energy is dot 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 okay and obviously keep going and write your whole summary um, now some things to keep in mind when using a text block is that there are a lot of the same features that you could find in word or another word publishing site so you can spell check and I encourage and actually I will say spell check anything that you put onto your wiki page because in essence, this is a going on the internet where anyone can see it. Now we know we are in a in a um, safe classroom environment where not everyone can see it, but I will be reading it and I will be um, grading you on the quality of your work. So spell check. Um, there's bold, italicize, underline. Um, you can center things. You can number bullet points. Change your spacing. Um, you can also add images into this area. So if you want to upload an image and talk about what that image is, you can do that by clicking on the image button. Now when you click on images, you can choose either a saved file from your computer or a link from the internet. Um, you can also change the color, you can highlight, so there's lots of different options within this text block. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this text block so you can see what it would look like. Okay, obviously you would have a lot more written here, but that's just an example of um, adding a text block onto your wiki page. Okay, now let's look at some of the other options. So add content block. You can add web links. 
So this would be if you wanted to add a link to a website. Maybe I ask you to find a video link or um, a website that's a great resource related to kinetic energy. Um, so here, again, you'd have to give it a block title. Um, my um, discovered website. Okay, again, these are just, I'm just making up fake ones right now. Um, so to add a website, okay, you're going to want to click the link here, or copy and paste, sorry. You'll copy the link from wherever you're, whatever link you want, paste it here. And then the label is the words that actually appear on the page. So rather than it sometimes giving this super long, complicated link, instead we'll just see the simplified one. And so maybe I want to label this one, kinetic energy link. Okay. Um, you can add more than one link, so if you want to have multiple links, you can add additional links, and it'll give you a spot to add another URL um, and more labels. Um, again, like the text box, you can add images, you can add descriptions of um, what your links are. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this one, okay? Now, since I didn't put a link in there, there's nothing there. Um, let's go to see what else is here. So we can upload images. If you would like a large image on your web page, you can add an image here. Okay, again, you will, oh, okay. Here you'll, you will title your image. Um, if you want your image full size on a page, you'll click this option. If you want your first image to show and then a slideshow, okay, you'll click this option. And these will be a lot of little thumbnails, like behind here. So you'll see a lot of little pictures, and then you can click on one and slideshow through. Now, we probably won't be doing too many of these, but I have used this in the past on our class website to um, show you pictures of labs and activities that we've done in class. Okay. Audio, you can add music. Um, maybe you find a song related to a topic that we are covering, so you can add music here. Video, you can add video files here. Um, for these types of video files, okay, you will need to actually upload the video file from the computer, okay, which many of you probably don't have videos saved. So the, the content block that you'll probably use most often for uploading video is YouTube, which this one is so easy to use. So when you click on YouTube, all you're going to do is when you're on a YouTube video, you're going to copy and paste that URL from the YouTube video right here. Okay, if you click on the embedded, that means that the video is going to show on your page. Like you'll see um, a, just a shot, a screenshot of your video, and then you can play it directly on your page. Now, if you do in a pop up, it's going to look like a link, and then when you click on the link, then the video will pop up. Um, I Actually, I like the embedded videos because you kind of get a little glimpse of what you're going to be viewing before um, you actually view it. And then this one, this way you don't have to open up any other links. Okay, some other ones. Um, Flickr is where you can go to find some photos. Embed the web. Um, we might try and use these later on. I'm not going to go over these exactly, but um, there's different sites where you can actually um, embed links and files and videos um, straight from the web here where they just show up already inside of your page. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on on-page text, web links, okay, files, oh my goodness, okay, files. Okay, if I want you to submit an assignment to me on your wiki space, Let's say um, your first lab, we'll call it Kinetic Energy Lab. Okay, you can upload from your computer your lab file. You can, if you are doing it in Google Docs, you can choose it from Google Docs. Um, add that file, so let's see if we can, I'm obviously not gonna have a file for this because I'm just making it up. Um, but if I wanted to, you can pick one of your files, okay, and then just upload, and then your file will be on your wiki page as a link. 
Okay, so I think that is a very thorough introduction to creating a wiki space. Um, you will not need to add separate sub pages quite yet. Um, maybe we'll get to this step when we start developing more project pages. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, I think that is about all you need to know for now. So I look forward to looking at your wiki projects and I think you guys are going to do a great job with this. All right. Thank you.